Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another video. So recently, I've been talking a lot about getting past your thoughts. You know, the stories that we tell ourselves, our belief system, what, what we believe, you know, we know, depending on what our thoughts are displaying to us. We all have this critic in our head that tells us, you know, you know, you're not good enough, you're not worthy, you're stupid, that's gonna take too long, you're never gonna get that done, we'll never see it through. You know, that, that critic that is full of self-doubt. When you begin to practice meditation, that critic becomes weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker. It gets to a point where you can set your day up to have that voice not even present. It's not even a real thing. And when we practice meditation, it allows you to set your day up to be so peaceful, to be so monotone, to be so balanced and in harmony with yourself throughout the whole day. That critic is not there. We're not being fueled by these self-limiting thoughts, these self-limiting beliefs, these emotions that are attached to these self-limiting thoughts, these self-limiting beliefs. When you, when you start to work with meditation, man, you can really start to dive deep and disconnect from your analytical mind, all, all of these thoughts. Meditation, you know, can be, it, it can be difficult for somebody who is not, somebody who is not accustomed to sitting with their thoughts on a regular basis. The best time of day that I ever began to meditate was either at nighttime, right before I went to bed, or in the morning. The reason why those two times are, you know, are the most important is because your brain is in a theta-like brainwave state, which means we are not, our brain is not being pumped with a billion different thoughts. It's very quiet. It, it, it's subtle. It's not as, it's not as severe. It's not as intense. You know, when, when we wake up, you're like half asleep half awake, half asleep, half awake. When we start to work with meditation, when we're half asleep, half awake, this is a very good time to be able to access our subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is 95% of your programs that we run on a consistent basis. For instance, have you ever been driving a car, and I'm sure you've been driving cars for years now that you don't even think about it. It's just second nature. We just do it without even thinking. We can start thinking about so many different thoughts, but yet we're driving perfectly okay. That is because we have built a program in our subconscious mind that allows us to have control where we don't even have to think about it because it's a subconscious program. Now, when we can start to work with meditation, we can start to get past our analytical mind when we're in that theta-like brainwave state, when we're half awake, half asleep. So, when, when, when you can really start to focus and just, and just calm yourself, right? And just allow these thoughts to just go by you. Just allow them to go, you know, to the left, to the right. However they're displaying in your head, try not to allow yourself to set a hook on one of those thoughts because when you set a hook on one of those thoughts you begin to go down this tunnel this emotional this you you start to get lost with that specific thought and the idea of meditation is just to become uh, to become used to your thoughts it's to become used to 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 how you are how your thoughts are displaying how your emotions are arising it's getting to know you and the more that we can practice just allowing these thoughts to, to, to just run by us, we can get to a point where you get past your analytical mind. You can get past your thoughts. When you get past your thoughts, we get sent into this like um, in this dimension where it's just nothing. It's, 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 it's straight up nothing. You were peaceful. You were just, I mean, it's almost just like you're in a blank slate. When you're in that blank slate, this is when we can start to rehearse positive affirmations positive things that we would like to do that we would like to achieve you know we can start to we can start to tell our subconscious mind a new program we would like to be running off of positivity harmony wholeness unity bliss ecstasy joy satisfaction euphoria we can start to tell ourselves 
a new way of thinking, a new style of thinking. And over time, the more that you begin to practice to practice this, you you start to you start to detach from old belief systems, old stories that you begin to tell yourself because we're now accessing our subconscious mind. Our subconscious mind is where we want to be. That is that is the that is the idea that I I believe that meditation can really help you access because your subconscious mind is 95% of your programs on a daily basis. We want to be stable, right? We don't we don't want to be influenced by our emotions. We don't want to be influenced by negative thoughts, the stories that we tell ourselves. So the more that you can just sit with yourself, you know, you can look up guided meditations on YouTube. I started with five minute guided meditations just to understand, to have somebody talk to me, how to work through it. And the more that I began to just, to just practice this every little, you know, every day for just a little by little, little by little, I began to, to, to really become familiar with my own meditation. I became familiar with me. The idea is to become familiar with you, to understand how you are operating, how these you know emotions are influencing some of these thoughts, how we can de-hook from these thoughts, how we can get rid of this critic inside of our head. And when this critic is, is starting to be removed, I am telling you, you set your day up to be so peaceful, to be so balanced, you're making decisions that are, that are, that are based upon positivity, that are based on your best scenario, because we're not being influenced by our old self-limiting beliefs. We have created a new subconscious program that is full of love, pos- you know, positivity, prosperity, clarity. You know, we can set ourselves up to take this direction of being peaceful, of being balanced, and that is what we want. That is what we want. And the greatest time that I that I was ever able to to understand how to really work with this meditation practice was in the morning or before I went to bed because before I went to bed, you're starting to fall asleep or you're half awake. When you wake up, you're half asleep or you're half awake. That is the perfect time we can start to access our subconscious mind. So little by little, little by little, just start researching guided meditations. Find find sounds that work for you. Um, if you're somebody who gets really tunnel visioned on these thoughts, we can start to remove ourselves from our thoughts and start focusing on our breathing, our heartbeat, our lungs. We can we can start to take ourselves off of how we are thinking and 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 move it to another to another source inside of us. Like I said, breathing, your heartbeat, um your lungs because the more that you start to just disconnect from your thoughts by focusing on 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 something inside of you. You can focus on your foot, whatever it may be. You can get past your thoughts. You can get past your analytical mind. That peaceful state where there's nothing, nothingness. That is that is that is the type of of that is the type of I guess you could say vortex or paradigm. I use those words a lot, but that 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 is the type of standpoint that we can jump into because when you're in there, you can start to reprogram your subconscious mind. The more you begin to reprogram your subconscious mind with positive thoughts, positive affirmations, positive things that you know are going to make you feel better, you are accessing your subconscious mind to build another program. When you build another program, that critique inside your head starts to fade. You start to be balanced. You start to be, um, you start to be harmonious with you. It is one of the greatest tools that I have ever learned to practice because it allowed me to explore not only my thoughts, but my belief system, my emotions. I could really start to dive deep on what I needed to disconnect from, what I needed to, you know, to be de-hooked from. And the more that I started to de-hook myself from these thoughts and start and started, you know, rehearsing positive affirmations, things that allowed me to feel great inside Little by little, man, that self-doubt, those self-limiting beliefs began to fade. Meditation, meditation, meditation. It will set your mind up in a way that some of us may have never experienced before. If your brain is always chattery, we need, if, you know, instead of it going like this 24-7, the more you start to practice it, your thoughts come in like this. <sighs> It is so peaceful. It, it, it's incredible. It's one of the greatest tools that I've ever could have practiced. All right. So look up, like I said, five minute guided meditations. Um, try to get past your thoughts. When you when you when you start to get past your thoughts, when you start to understand how your meditation works for you. Like I said, everybody is different. 
you can really start to access your subconscious mind where all of our beliefs are programmed. And once you see what belief, <laughs> what beliefs, you, you know, the stories that you tell yourself, we can start to dehook and we can start to reinforce a new way of thinking, a new positive style of thinking. And over time, the more you do it, it, it becomes a habit. You know, you start to weaken that other program. The more, you know, it becomes weaker and weaker and weaker, it snaps. When it snaps, that is when we can rehearse new positive stories, new positive affirmations to build a new connection. When that new connection is developed, New neurons in your brain, you're, you're firing and wiring new thoughts, they become a belief system. When they become a belief system, that is now a subconscious program. When, that's a sub, when, when something is a subconscious program and you're setting it up in a positive direction, you are going to take off. And you're not only going to take off, you're going to be peaceful and balanced and have so much clarity inside of your brain and your body. It's a whole different world. All right. I love you guys and peace and love.